episode 3 of Tomo-chan is a girl today. <laughs> Last week we had an introduction to Carol, which is Sally Amaki's character. Um, and that was exciting because, I mean, she's a great character, there's a lot of funny stuff going on, and the week was kind of filled with those, uh, those classic comparisons of people posting what Sally Amaki did in the original Japanese and what she did in this dub, because, uh, she's playing the same character, but the way that you do, uh, dubs of a show, like, you don't, you're not just translating the line directly what you have to do is actually translate the intention of the line which means a lot of the time you're translating humor to a humor style that works better so uh i feel like carol in the sub i've i've, I've watched the sub stuff um i feel like carol in the sub is based upon the japanese idea of like sort of cutesy humor you know like she's a very cute character and when she says stuff she says it in a very flat like cute tone um, but in the, uh, in the dub, there are times when she actually, like, sort of goes into a dry, uh, sort of, like, you know, almost very slightly, like, she's not meaning to be, but very slightly sarcastic. But the character's not being sarcastic, but we as an audience read it as sarcastic, because the entire, uh, show's humor is going to sway slightly to the dry humor side, and that's because that humor works better in English. Um, in Japanese, it works... It works well having, you know, all the lines be read in a very cute way. Um, but when you translate it to English, if you do that, it doesn't sound as good. It doesn't sound as funny. But if you do it in a dry sense of humor way, it works really well. And I think that's just good dubbing. So, um, so of course, people who are watching, like, for example, they might be watching my reaction videos, um, but they don't watch the dub. And they're surprised that it feels quite different um, in terms of, like, the, the type of humor and stuff. That's what, that's what dubs do, genuinely, it, uh, it will generally make for a better experience. It may not feel like it because it seems like such a different experience, but it will make for a better experience for the people who are watching dub for the first time, which is the way it's intended to be watched. Not to compare to the sub, but instead as a, as a, oh, this is going to be my first time watching the show, I'm watching it in my native language. I, I just think that's very interesting to, uh, to look at because, you know, I've, I've done writing, I've done acting, all that sort of stuff in the past, and something that's always really interested me is the way that people uh, localize stuff, and sort of the misconceptions about dubs and about localization. So, uh, so it's, this is a great show to study for that sort of stuff, because Sally Yamaki is playing two different characters, we hear, like, the exact same actress do, and she's, she's fluent in both languages, I mean, you hear her speak in Japanese, and you hear her speak in... I mean, I, I can't understand Japanese well enough to know if there are, like, little, you know, mistakes and stuff she's making. But to my naked ear, her Japanese and her, uh, her English are both phenomenal. So, anyway, uh, let's get into this episode, uh, of, uh, of Tomo-chan is a Girl, episode 3. I, uh, yeah, really enjoyed last episode. We're expanding the cast out a bit. I wonder if we're going to expand it out even more or if we're staying here. Let's find out. Let's go into episode three. Please make sure if you want to watch the full length, go to my Patreon account and uh, also support the channel. Subscribe if you want to see more episodes. Like the video. Comment down below. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Episode three. Tomo-chan is a girl. Here we go. It's kind of important. And they're supposedly my best friends. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess you probably should have... Like, Misusu probably should have told her best friend who has a crush on him that she's dated him already best bud secret you know often for shows i read out the title what but the crap, me, this time the main character You're does supposed it to be my best friend finally let it slip huh <laughs> they were trying to keep it secret, secret. <laughs> i think it's because we were both much happier blocking it out besides there wasn't time to tell you even if we wanted to huh? it wasn't time we were only officially a couple for like Three days. Three yeah. days? Okay, <laughs> not much. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> yeah, sure, that's <laughs> fun. Oh my god. Even yeah, it was middle school. Anyway, I started to get bored with it like the next day. No <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. A particularly auspicious beginning. I agreed without giving it much thought. Cycling. <laughs> I guess that's cute, but also a difficult first date. So thirsty. We were having a delightful conversation for two hours and forty kilometers. What do you think? Awesome view, right? 
It's a, it's just a sun on a little bit of mountains. <laughs> Are you a complete moron? <laughs> he decided to put me through the same torture again the next day. I lost half my weight and sweat with that what guy. What the heck, really? Okay, I'm having a hard time seeing what's wrong with any of Yeah, <laughs> of course Tomo would I like that. You're insane too. <laughs> but uh I've been thinking about it and it seems like we're not a good fit for each other. That, that happens. So maybe we should you both just give sense up on the whole dating thing. I've had something very similar to this happen. <laughs> Bruce on my soul. Oh, okay, so much makes sense now. <laughs> the feelings I have for him are all derivatives of hate. Oh, well, that's fine. So, <laughs> did you, like, when you were dating, did you guys. They didn't ever, do anything, uh, I don't you know, think. Did you, like, kiss and stuff? The fact <laughs> that we never exchanged mucus particles is the one good thing about that relationship. Didn't talk to her for practically our entire first year of middle school, am I right? Hmm. I'll why? Spare you all the questions I now have about why. Except, well, no, I remember I the time know why. you decided to rekindle your friendship with Tomo was right when you and I broke up. Was mm -hmm. that a coincidence? Look, I was entirely rebound for everything that happened. So there really was something going on. Just hit me, okay? <laughs> he just wants the physical pain and not their discomfort. Yeah, I think I would know. What is up with you? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, it's all good. <laughs> really she switches so no, easily. There's not. No. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> okay. That's cool. Way to way to act natural go. So then he's a guy? No, <laughs> I like how he has to Let look at the pants. Like, okay, Hello. no skirt. Nice this is to a man. You. I'm Kosuke Misaki. <laughs> <laughs> you oh my god. Sorry. Reflexes. Oh, uh, yeah. I'd love to spar with you sometime. Oh my god. With every ounce of strength I have. Oh my god. Surely the captain wins that. I don't know if... Is June actively training? I plan to continue my training with you, sir. That's what I like to hear. Okay. Okay, so he just trains with her, her father. But does he do that actively? Like, every week? You go on. I promised me, Suzu, and Carol I'd get tea with them today. Oh, good. You're still hanging out with Carol? Are you sure those two aren't together? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> ridiculous. That's way awkward for me, so next time you see him, you better fix it, huh? <laughs> you live this way too? Nope. Oh, God. Why are you standing so far out? Who, me? I was wondering if you'd be interested in joining the karate club at school. I most certainly would not. Oh, my God. Yeah, but she meant at her dad's dojo, which is a whole different story. When there really? are actual rules to follow, like at a school club, I don't stand a chance. Huh. Whenever we really fight, she's a lot easier to beat. Wait, so you, you and I, he fights fight to dirty. Beat each other up? <laughs> it's what we do, and I always try my hardest not to hurt her. She doesn't do the same. <laughs> strong. And anytime Whoa, she comes at me, that's a cool real. fucking oh, visual. Yes. I love I that. See why you'd feel like your life was in danger. Do you came out way weirder than I intended? Uh, Don't go blabbing your mouth to <laughs> Oh my oh, god. No, I won't. I really hope he didn't threaten your life again, did he? He kind of did. Oh, I'm so glad you're not like all She's of wrong. <laughs> I can't tell her I think he's a brute. He was just saying how you Yo, senpai. <laughs> Looks like you two are having a nice oh, chat. No. You mind if I join? It's not a good time for him know, to I'm walk sorry. in. Let's go on a date. Whoa, really? Donathan? So like, honestly. Hey! It's me for Nayan Ogawa. Oh. Uh, whoa. Crazy, right? All of their clothes are so the cute. I've never seen you guys before. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's like so not fair. I think What's the matter? I think they all look good. Kinda all the characters on screen look good. Of joining us. But who cares, right? Have you hung out with Junichiro lately? <laughs> Like, it's a very masculine out outfit, but, you know, that's what she likes to wear. But not to like the bowling alley or those batting cages you guys always go to. What's wrong with going to those places, though? They're not date places. Well, they are, but... Why don't you go shopping at the mall or do some karaoke like most people our age? Yeah, they're not explicitly date places. Oh, with June? Sounds awkward. You know, go hang out with me somewhere. Are you for real? Aw. Well, oh, man. that's it's cute. Forever. Where? Where are we gonna go? <laughs> he is wagging his tail. <laughs> that's really cute. Would it be okay if I came with you? No, Carol. I'm just kidding. Okay, good. <laughs> that's really funny. I'm 
I mean, you're not going on a date in boys' clothes. That would be weird. Don't go like right, super right. girly though. We'll if you go incredibly girly, it's not gonna feel like he's out with Tomo. I'm thinking something more boyish for now. Uh, yeah. Okay. Are we here to make her more girly though? Yeah, but we have to go slow. If it's too big a switch, she'll be too self-conscious. Yes, to enjoy that's the date. exactly what I was saying. That's good. She completely morphed. That's so good. I'm gently merged into a cute girl with some charming boyish features. Yes, but thank you, Misuzu. That's that, right? that's perfect. How about we do a simple sporty outfit that feels familiar but mm -hmm. also looks a bit more feminine? Oh my gosh, these two are great! How does that sound to you, Tomo? Huh? Oh, sure, that sounds great. And asking her opinion on it. Wow, I love I love this friendship group. I love them. Cute. Just be sure to tell us every last detail of everything that happens on your date. And we can call it even. That sounds so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's safe to say that they've evolved into a powerful tag team. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Huh? Nothing. That's a that's a perfect uh, yeah. outfit for her vibe. Man, it's been ages. Wait, they still went <laughs> to the batting cage. This is just turning into our usual friend hangout. <laughs> Why don't you try swinging at one? <laughs> oh, was that a 160? Nice Damn! Damn, she's she's Dry. rising to the occasions. Got okay or something next? Sure, why not? Oh, yeah, cool. No, I'm being silly. I was just thinking I'd mix it up a bit. Did you say yes? <laughs> then go sit next to him. Stick your face in his face. What? Kara is such a good character. But whenever I went along with your suggestions, I always had fun. Aww. That's one of the things I like most about you. The acorn went rolling, rolling down to the pond. <laughs> oh, no, 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 the pond's too deep. <laughs> Is this like a kid song? Play with me. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, but a goofy little children's song? Yeah. Not what I expected at all. <laughs> seriously are the greatest. Rude. You then sing kid songs in his face for three hours? <laughs> I'm so embarrassed I wanted to die. Hmm. I should probably delete it. It's you know? memories that he will like, though. Can I see the video? <laughs> <laughs> but something was different about her that day. Mm. Aww. I, if anyone knows in the comments, is this ED sung by the voice actors? It sounds like it very well could be, and it sounds like the English bits might be Sally Yamaki. It sounds like her voice. Oh. Misuzu. Aww. You're so good, Misuzu. Bounce with me, bounce with me, all the sanity is sen sen <laughs> okay, Tomo, it's your turn now. You scratch me, the kitty, scratch me, the kitty, scratch me. Sit on the kitty scared, kitty scratch me, see, you scared of me. I think that's my favorite episode so far. I mean, look, these sorts of shows that have, um, that have, you know, they're ensemble cast comedy shows and stuff. I think they actually generally take like three or four episodes for me to like get attached to them properly and settle in. I can see, I generally see like the potential in episode one and I... Uh, and episode two, I see like a few decent things and then generally, yeah, it's around episodes three or four that I start getting attached to the, the cast and the characters and, and properly looking forward to the progression of what's to come. Because that's when you're, when I start to settle in, I get used to everything. So, um, and, and that's what's happened here as well. Because, uh, yeah, this is episode three and I... Um, uh, I'm very excited for more now. I, I really enjoyed this episode. I thought it was really funny. I thought it was cute. There was a lot of cool stuff happening. I love their dynamics with each other. Like the cast is like really coming into their own now. So yeah, I, I love it. Um, so, uh, first thing that I wanted to talk about was like the, so the breakup, um, I find the breakup really interesting between Misuzu and June because um, because they just dated for, you know, she said officially three days. Um, and, you know, it sounds like they went on two, two dates properly and that was it, you know? Um, and I, I, I get it, you know, I've been in, um, 
I, I've been in a thing with a girl where it was just a very short-term thing, you know? Um, and uh, had the same sort of situation where, like, yeah, I... I technically ended it, but I think she was going to if I didn't anyway. Like, it was just, you know, you find out you're not compatible with one another. It happens. Um, and so, like, that's why I, I think that was a that was a really funny scene. But I like that Misuzu was sort of frustrated that, like, she didn't get to do the dumping. Like, that's the sort of person she is. She's a little bit, like, manipulative. Um, she's con a bit controlling. Like, just the, a smidge of it. She's not a great uh person to most people you know she's a good person to uh tomo but to everyone else she is kind of rude and uh and a little bit controlling and stuff so um so yeah it makes sense that she'd be like this isn't fair like i wanted to be the one to break his heart you know um but uh but now she's yeah got this stain on her where it's like she was broken up with by june <laughs> which is uh which is very funny but um but I like that Jun did that, you know? I like that he was like, Hey, I'm sorry, but I, I think... Uh, I think we're not compatible with one another. And, I mean, he was right. Look, it's... It, it's a... Uh, I mean, yeah, it's a stupid thing to say, like, Hey, let's go on a date, and then you make them ride a bike for two and a half hours to see a thing, and then when they clearly weren't into it, you do it again. Like, of course, that's, that's dumb and stupid, but... I mean, he's right in the fact that they weren't the compatible ones, but Tomo was listening to that story. She was like, I don't understand what the problem is. Like, that sounds amazing. And because Tomo would have loved that. That would have been a, a dream come true for her. Is uh, is him, like, excitedly taking her on a bike ride. They go for a long... They, like, ride for a long period of time, basically competing with one another, then look at the sun and spend time together and then ride back. Um, so, yeah, I think that's, that's really great. Um... But, uh, but yeah, I, I just, I really enjoyed that. Um, June is an interesting character, because I think he's a, like, he's a male protagonist that I don't love in terms of, uh, like, a lot of the time in these sorts of shows, I'll be like, oh my god, this guy's, like, best boy, you know? Um, but I, I don't, I don't think he's best boy, <laughs> you know? Uh, but what I do think is that he's right for Tomo, and I think that's all he needs to be. I don't, like, if I was hanging out with people, I wouldn't like June. I, he just wouldn't be my type of dude, um, and, uh, and, hey, if I was, uh, if I was, you know, gay, I guess, then I, or a woman, a straight woman, then I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't want to date him. Doesn't seem like, uh, like my type of dude. A lot of the time in romantic comedies, I can generally see the appeal of, well, not just see the appeal. I, I generally like both characters enough that I think they both deserve, uh, love and that I would, I, I'm like, oh yeah, I totally 100% get it. With June, it's like, I am, I'm not... Uh, attached to him necessarily, but I'm attached to Tomo's attachment to him. So that's all that really matters. Like, she loves him a lot. I can see why she loves him. I can see, like, the qualities that he has that she likes. Um, and so, so I'm rooting for them purely because I want Tomo to be happy. Um, and I like... Tomo is also the kind of character that she would, in other anime, she would generally be my least favorite character. This, like, sort of, uh, very tomboyish um girl who is uh you know has a deeper voice in a weird hair curtain um is just like incredibly strong and good at fighting and all that sort of stuff like generally if you if you uh if she was in a different show i would be like oh yeah i think that character is okay but i don't love her too much you know like if you if you have all my um my uh little anime figures here like it's it's a lot of the very girly characters you know like this is this is uh, uh a character that you know d takes a lot of photos for social media and is watching her weight and does like you know she's she's a very typically girly character a lot of the characters that i have up here i'm not going to take them all down because it'll take a while are very typically girly characters i mean even i've got nobara from Juju Kai, who isn't a typically girly character, right? She's a somewhat masculine character. Um, but part of her character is that she wants to uh, be, or she likes when she is being more girly. And I just dropped, um, 
I just dropped her arm off. I was gonna show it to the camera, but her arm just fell off. Hold on. I need to put it back on before I show this. Um, so yeah, like part of Nobara's character arc is that she like uh, wants to be, or she likes when she's being girly as much as she likes being, you know, boyish. Um, the the Nendoroid of her that I have, I've put it in her doing like her with her lipstick and stuff. Like I I've literally like gotten the most girly version of Nobara. So you can see the you know the kind of oh my gosh she fell off. I shouldn't have done this. I should have just left her up there. <laughs> um, uh, so you can see the the sorts of characters that I'm drawn to. Um, and it's just my just my type of character, you know. Uh, but with that being said, I really love Tomo. Like, I think she's a great protagonist. I'm really getting attached to her. I'm awing a lot at, at what she does. Um, I, and I think it's, I think she's really great. Like, I feel, I feel like she's relatable, even though I don't relate to necessarily any of her struggles, you know, but I still feel like she's relatable, but it's great. It's really good. And finally, the friendship group, top tier. I love it. I loved that the because I was so nervous when they were going shopping. I was like, oh my gosh, they're gonna get her like a long like sundress and um, you know they're gonna get her necklaces and um, have her put lipstick on and like she's just gonna look completely different. And June is probably not gonna be interested. Like June, does, you know, if the amount that June likes Tomo, it's not. It like there's uh, he he likes her for her, but I'm sure he also likes the the parts of her that are feminine. So I think what is best is like a middle ground where it's like Tomo is girly enough that she uh you know that she is really attractive to June, um but at the same time is uh is boyish enough to feel comfortable in her own skin but also is girly enough to feel pretty for herself you know because she likes looking good clearly so there's you know there, there's a there's a balance there that they they've got to strike um uh but yeah i i just i really loved that we went into that scene and i was worried about that and then like and then yeah uh me suzu was immediately like we, we shouldn't go full girly. We should, like, subtly move her towards that end of the scale, but um, keep her in something that she's comfortable with. And uh, and then Carol, like, picked up on that and, and went for it, and they both picked out something that was really great. And I I love their, all of their relationships with one another. I love everything Carol says is very funny. It's a great episode. It's a really great episode. So, anyway... Everyone, thank you for joining me for this episode. Please make sure to support the video, subscribe, like the video, comment down below, all that stuff. Um, and go to my Patreon account if you want full length, early access, exclusive videos. All that is uh, is on my Patreon account in the description below. Go check it out. Thanks for watching this episode of Tomo-chan is a girl. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.